Why, hello there, little boy. Would you want some candy? Uh, maybe if it's from Kremia, but from you, uh, get, get, get away, man. Get away. Please, get, get, get away. Get away! Ah! A anyway. Hey guys, this is Vance Logic. Welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last part, we bought the big bomb bag. The bigger bomb bag, I mean. And then we got the biggest bomb bag. And now we're, and then we went to Iconic Graveyard. And, uh, went through day two of the graveyard shift. And right now... We're here in day three of the graveyard shift, and we've already dug up two of the three little flame things that showed up from digging. And yes, this man is a fancy pedophile gravekeeper or something like that. I don't even know. I'm making this shit up as I go along. I apologize, guys. But yes, now let's hopefully find it right here. Please let it be here. If not, then I'm wasting my time getting you on that platform. Please let it be there. Please let it be there. Yes! Yeah! There we go. Oh, crap. Oh, it's the leader of the ghosts. Fuck you, man, with your... Oh, God, fancy accent. So, yep, yeah, this is a big pose, so let's bust out our hero's bow. I think this is the only way you can actually hurt this guy. You just gotta get out of the way in time, and then shoot him with an arrow. I'm not entirely sure. I'm... I'm assuming, like, mag... That, the... Magic arrows actually do more damage. I'm gonna try. I don't think it is, but if it's not, then... But anyway, what you want to do is just watch out. Once you actually shoot him, he's going to show up right behind you and going to try attacking you again. Like that. Just turn around, avoid him, and then shoot him. There we go. Okay, there you are. Tried pulling a fast one on me. Still nothing. Come on, buddy. Bring it. Ah, what the hell was that? There we go. Not sure if that actually did more damage, but I'm... I did it anyway. With time to spare, too, it's already gonna be midnight. Anyway, if you want to, you can actually capture this guy in a bottle. Though it really doesn't serve any purpose other than Ocarina of Time. It may lead to something good, though. Maybe. Let's try it! Ah, wait. Ah, oh, man. If I remember correctly, in Ocarina of Time, you could actually drink the pose. And, like, I think it recovered a random amount of health or it damaged you. I couldn't really remember what it does. But here is the treasure! Another empty bottle! So now we have four empty bottles. And trust me, these bottles, they are going to be a freaking godsend in the upcoming area. Speaking of which, I think this is pretty much everything we can do up till now. So, yes, let's actually make our way out here. Hopefully, maybe. And let's see how the world looks like outside before we actually make our way back. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Eh, I ain't seen nothing and I don't know nothing. Damn yeah, right you don't. Anyway, this leads back out here. Hello, graveyard. And hello, the destruction of the world. And where's the moon at? Oh, there it is. Hello, buddy. How you doing? Nice night. And the eerie, eerie music before the world ends. May as well make the most of it. Die, bastards! Die! Ah! I'm a crazy motherfucker. Bring it! Alright, I think I've done enough death and destruction in this cycle. Onward! Alright, so I'll see you guys where we're going to be heading next in a little bit. Because I'm just going to be cutting there. You guys don't want to see me doing this. It's not worth it. Alright guys, here we are at the observatory. While I'm going to be grabbing the whole stuff up until the mountain title deed, I'm going to be doing something here while I'm here. So, if you guys look actually look around, you can see this Deku scrub leaving over here. And just keep watching him. Keep watching him. And make sure to remember where he's about to be making his way to. Where are you going, buddy? I see you. Hey there, how you doing? <laughs> I don't know. I like that guy from Family Guy. Hey! You're moving too quick. What the hell, buddy? Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Hey, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, I see where you're... There's a guy in the tree right there! Oh, dang. Hey, he's escaping! 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 And all that crazy... And I'm looking downward. 
But anyway, he makes his home somewhere around this general area. So I'm just going to be grabbing a couple things. And I'll see you guys once I've gotten like the mountain title deed. And I'm going to be making my way to where that Deku landed. Alright guys, I'm back. And if you guys see in the top right, I have the mountain title deed already. So I'm just going to be making my way through here. And I'm going to be getting 100 rupees. Because we're going to be needing it for that whole Deku script thing that I pointed out at the observatory. And good thing I made that jump. And anyway, if I... As if you guys seen like my last part, I mentioned how I got Ocarina of Time 3D, and it's pretty damn good. Graphics are pretty damn amazing, especially in 3D. Like it does kind of strain the eyes after a while though, but still, it's pretty damn worth it. And if I remember correctly, I think we have to get out of this way. This is the way to the canyon, though. I think this is like the way where the observatory is closest to. But yeah, Ocarina of Time 3D looks pretty damn amazing. Makes me wonder if they actually would remake Majora's Mask in 3D. Though that would... Like, the graphics... Like, they do look pretty damn, like, bright. Though that is to be expected. It is, it is a Zelda game. And I think this is where the guy was at. And that, this is where the... Nope. This is the, some other thing. It was in another hole somewhere else. Near the observatory. I think there was another one. But yeah, like, the graphics look a lot brighter than they ever did in, like, in the first Ocarina of Time. But it... I'm not saying they look bad, I'm just saying they look a lot brighter, and if, like, they use the same thing for Majora's Mask, then it would be kind of disappointing, because, like, the darkness kind of loses its meaning. Ah, what are you doing here? This is my secret storage unit. It's a problem if you come in here without permission. Please, I'll sell you a piece of heart if you just keep this place a secret. 150 rupees for that. Fuck you! Hmm, no good. I just squeaked that. What the hell was wrong with me? In that case, you leave me no choice. How about one for a hundred rupees? Alright! Alright, so that makes her another piece of heart. It's not that I don't believe you, it's just to be safe, I'm moving my storage. Hurry up and get out too. Can we go talk into one Deku scrub that will not pop out of the damn flower here? What the F? We have to watch this every single time. And he's like, oh. I died and gone to heaven. That's what it looks like. Anyway, now that we got that out of the way, because I think that was the most convenient way for me to actually get that without making it seem too out of the way. But enough about that. Let's get on opponent and make our way to the beach. Or to the bay. To the ocean and all that crap. There you are, opponent. I don't know how they get... how the, I seriously don't get how the heck you get past that boulder, but... I'm not going to be questioning it anymore. Let's make our way to the ocean. And... Damn it. There's a cliff there. That'd be hilarious if a opponent can actually go into a hole. And then, like, he dies. I don't know how that's hilarious, but... Somehow it is. I need help. Anyway. Uh... What are we going to be doing here? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a cliff. Opponent. Stop thinking crazy thoughts. Onward. And wait. Nah, crap. Damn it. It's been a while since I played Ocar Majora's Mask. And Ocarina of Time for that matter. Plus the controls on Ocarina of Time 3D are a lot better than they were in the first one. Then again, seeing as how my Nintendo 64 joystick was screwed up beyond belief, that's kind of to be expected. And here it is. The Great Bay Coast. The next area where we have to make our way to. We can't make it our we can't make our way here without a Pona by our side, so let's make our way over here. Alright. Hello beach! Sand! Girls! All this other crap, and there's a dead body out there. What the hell? This isn't how I envisioned it. What do you Tattle? What are you saying? What the hell? Tattle! What the hell? Hey, what do you think that is? Out there in the bay beneath where the gulls are flying. Can't you see it? At all, you're ruining my fun. This isn't how I envisioned the ocean. I envisioned girls. Mermaids. Not a dead body. Somebody. Please. Get me. To shore. Nah, I think you're good. I'll just dive under you. I don't know what that'll do, but it'll do something. That I'm sure of. So anyway, you can get behind them, and you can push them to shore. Though, the way Link is grunting, it's like he's raping him. Rape him to shore, Link. Rape him to shore. 
And once you get far enough, I think he's going to be able... There we go. I am going to be cutting out a lot for this part because most of it was me getting that title deed. Well, it seems he still has some life in him. Well, not anymore. God damn it. Alright, so what happened here and what the fuck? Uh, I'm Mikao or the Zora people. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing his name right. I apologize. Guitarist in the Zora band. I think this is it for me. My final message. Will you listen to it? Alright. Okay, so he still has some life in him. What the hell? One, two, three. Oh, baby, baby, listen. <laughs> The carnival's beginning soon. We're the ones they're waiting to see. But that girl, our vocalist, she laid some strange eggs. She lost her voice. You can't hear what she says. Okay, that was a crappy momentum. Whoa, whoa. In the Great Bay now, something is happening. Is it now? I don't know. I can't. Listen to me. I don't want to beg. The Gerudo Pirates, they stole that girl's eggs. I went to stop the Gerudo Pirates, but then pow and bam, I got knocked down, and here I am. I suck at singing, baby, if I die like this. Even if I die, I won't rest in peace, that's for sure. Somebody, please, rescue your eggs before the pirates take their toll. Oh, somebody, somebody, please, hear my soul. Heal my soul. Hear my soul. That's all. Thank you. Dude, you are freaking crazy. But all right, we'll hear your soul. Link, you're surprised by this? Seriously? Anyway, now we have our final transformation mask, the Zora Mask. This mask contains the spirit of a legendary guitarist. Where the mask was see the hammer body, but Zora proceeded again to return to normal. Holy crap. Okay, now that you can be surprised with. Part of my farewell song of my grave. I'm depending on you to help that singer girl. Somehow Link memorizes all of this. Link memorizes all of this. All he tells us, puts it on his grave, and yet we don't learn shit from it until we actually check it again. I'm just saying. Anyway, now, enough grieving. We're not here to grieve. We're here to see creepy, creepy transformations. Okay, that one's more scarier than creepy, anyway. You can check it right here. Herein lies Bikao, the legendary guitarist of the Zora tribe. He is to be remembered in song, and his lyrics are written here. Will you listen to the sing that ba? And either one you check, I like what happens here. Yay! Yay! <laughs> That's just hilarious. Anyway, this one is like more like one of the better ones to control than the other transformations because this one, it's pretty crazy. I'll show you guys right here. Check it out. You can actually swim like this in the water, so no more having to worry about drowning and all this other crap. Even though that was never really an issue to begin with. And if you hold R underwater while swimming, you generate this magical shield that could pretty much kill anything underwater in one hit. 
Though depending on the enemy, really. Plus, if you like, you push B while underwater, you can dive, and you can walk on the surface underwater like this, and you can just hold R to shield and all this. And if you punch, you could activate these one weapons that act as boomerangs. And you can just push A to surface and continue swimming like this. So trust me, this is one of the most useful masks in this game, seriously. And woo! All right. So with this, I'm gonna grab one thing that's slightly, slightly out of the way. And where's my horse? Where's my horse? There's my horse. Shut up, man. shut up, woman! Get on my horse. Anyway, God, I am not gonna let that go, am I? Anyway, I'll see you guys in the little bit. It was over there. Damn it! I am wasting your guys' time. I really, really apologize for this. Come on, opponent, get over here. Can I get off from here? Nope, son of a bitch. Pona, calm your ass down. Or I may smack you in the ass. See what I did there? Yeah, you don't see what I did there. And stop. There we go. Hey. Alright, this is where I'm at. I completely bypassed it. And that's not gonna hit it, is it? Nope. Son of a whore. Alright, fine, there. Oh, no, no, no. There we go. And somehow I did a spin attack without actually spinning the sword. That's awesome. Anyway, let's make our way down this hole. Check over here. And you guys see these little things underwater. These are just underwater babas. I don't know. Bio Deku babas. Calm down and aim carefully. Don't get blame me if one hit doesn't get rid of it. Alright, fine. So what you want to do is shoot all of these down. And yes. Kill everything in sight. Well, not really. Just get them out of the way so they don't annoy you. Alright. And, damn it. Aim lower. There we go. There we go. I don't think there's any more. Alright. So what you want to do in here is hit all of these bees hives. All of them. Don't worry, no bees actually come out of them because they hit the ground right underwater. Oh, and the fun, crazy thing about the Zora Mask, you can actually put it while swimming. So yeah, it's a lot more accessible than the other ones. And in one and the last one, it should drop a piece of heart. Alright. So with that, very nice, very nice indeed. I think I'm actually gonna cut it here, or I'm actually gonna make my way to the Great Bay, activate like an owl statue there, and then I'm gonna cut it there, because I seriously don't know how long this is gonna be. Hopefully not so long. I'll probably have to cut out a lot more than I thought I would. Man, damn it. Pona! Hey, Pona! What the hell, man? Girl. Thing. I just realized, like, Epona's actually a girl. That's what I learned in Ocarina of Time 3D. Like, I never really read it up to now, and it's all like, this is Epona. Like, she... And then, like, freaking Malon, or whatever the hell you pronounce her name as, like, referred to Epona as a she. And I was like, holy shit, Epona's a girl. Didn't think so with that kind of name. And again, if it was a boy, it would have been called Epono or something. You know, the whole effeminate stuff in names. Calm down, Epona, seriously. It's just water. Anyway, what you want to do is get to over here, get into the water. And then hopefully I can pull this off. Like, you can actually jump up in the water like that. And I'm going to try doing this and fail miserably. Damn it. Alright, this part's going to be a little longer than I expected it to be. Shit. Alright, hit this, and now we can access the Great Bay, which is good, because I want to save now. So, next time on Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, we're going to be continuing on through the Great Bay and doing something involving pirates and Zoras. So, I'll see you guys then.